guys, how are you today? Ready for today's class? I'm exchanging information. I'm in tune with the world. In the air, there is the message for me to learn and grow. So use the web, read the news, watch TV, use the phone. These are my tools. Use the web, read the news, watch TV, use the phone to connect to you. The web, read the news, watch TV, use the phone, these are my tools. Use the web, read the news, watch TV, use the phone to connect to you. Lesson 27, Surfing on the Web. Então, pessoal, vamos à revisão da aula passada? Já aprendemos a utilizar o did, acompanhado das WH questions, when, where, what... Vejam alguns exemplos. What did you do last night? I stayed home and watched TV. Where did you go last night? I went to the cinema with my friends. Let's see what we have today. Hmm. Did you enjoy the movie? It was great. Mariana was telling me that cinema can help us understand our culture and our history. We were planning a movie session in your house, Lucas. Yes, you are the only one who has a DVD. <laughs> okay, we can do that on the weekend. Sabem o que há de novo aí? Um novo tempo verbal é o passado contínuo, the past continuous. Nós utilizamos o verbo to be mais o verbo seguido de ing. Só que como estamos falando no passado, ao invés de am, is e are, nós utilizamos was ou were. Prestem bem atenção na frase. We were planning a movie session. Para utilizarmos o passado contínuo, basta conjugarmos o verbo to be no passado e a fórmula continua a mesma. Sujeito, mais o verbo to be no passado, mais o verbo seguido de ing. Hi Pedro, what a surprise! I was studying in the library and I decided to come downstairs to use the internet. Oh, I was Preparing to go back home, but now that you're here, why don't you teach me how to use it? Oh, okay. Let's sit down. Okay, first, the good thing about the internet is that you are connected to the whole world by computer. For example, think about a place far, far away from here. Mm, let me see. Bangladesh. Bangladesh? Where is it? Bangladesh is a country in the Asia continent. Pedro, what were you doing during your geography class? Olha só a pista que a Júlia deu para a gente. Para fazer uma pergunta no passado contínuo, basta fazer como no presente contínuo. Colocamos o verbo antes do sujeito. Prestem atenção no exemplo. You were paying attention in the geography class. Were you really paying attention in the geography class? No, I was not paying attention in the geography class. <sighs> If we go to a search site, we can find all kinds of information about Asia and its countries. We can even make friends in Asia. But I don't speak any Asian language. How could I make friends in Asia? You speak English. Well, guys, já aprendemos alguns países. Vamos agora aos continentes. Take a look. North America, Asia, Europe, Africa, Oceania. 
I was thinking about the war in Iraq the other day. Can we find information about that? Let's see. We can find a website and look for news about the Iraqi war. Sabem o que é um website? Do you know what a website is? Já visitaram algum? Por que vocês não pedem aos seus professores ou professoras uma dica e deem uma olhada? Ah, look for é um phrasal verb, que significa procurar. Oh, I have a friend who was living in France until last year. And he was always writing me about a museum called Louvre. Let's see what that is. Oh, the Louvre is a very famous art museum. Ah, o Museu do Louvre, na França. In what continent is France located? Em que continente a França está localizada? What? Europe. Yes, that's right. I would like to know more about journalism. Oh, okay. Let's look for journalists. Here, a discussion group about young journalists. Perfect. Go ahead, Julia. Type something. Hello, I'm Julia. I write for my office's news paper. Hello, Julia. It's nice to talk with you. Where do you work? I work at a radio station called Open Air. That's my city. Really? Would you like to be one of the guests of the show? Tomorrow we are having young people to discuss the difficulties of Getting a job. Of course, I can bring a friend of mine. Nice going, Julia. Boa, Julia. Conheceu o mundo pela internet e ainda arrumou um programa de rádio para participar. Oh, hello, guys. What are you doing here? I thought everybody was home. Oh, hi, boss. Oh, we were doing some research on the internet, but we are leaving now. Oh, the internet. All oh, my students love the internet. But let me give you an advice. Try to look for information on reliable sites, okay? All right, I have to go. I just stop by to see if the lights are on, all right? A internet tem de tudo mesmo, né? Coisas boas e coisas ruins. Good things and bad things. Look for information on reliable sites. Procure informação em sites confiáveis. Ah, e mais um phrasal verb que é drop by. Drop by significa dar uma passadinha, dar um pulo em algum lugar. Ok? Guess what? We are going to a radio station tomorrow. Why are you going to a radio station? Because we were invited to be one of the guests in a program. Hmm, that's exciting. I have a sister who works in a radio station. It's on the east part of the city. It's called Open Air. Viram onde a chefe disse que a rádio ficava? On the east part of the city. 
ótima deixa para a gente aprender as direções. Take a look. North, South, East, West, Northeast, Northwest, Southeast, Southwest. Review. A boa nova de hoje foi o passado contínuo, or the past continuous. Mas já sabemos que a regrinha é a mesma. O verbo to be, desta vez no passado, seguido do verbo mais ing. Deixe-me ver se consigo pensar em um exemplo. Let me see. Let me think. Hmm. She was watching TV when the phone rang. Bye bye. No. Wait a minute. Só um minuto. My tip for the day, minha dica de hoje. Surf on the internet. Aproveitem para conhecer um pouco mais desse mundo que está aí para vocês. Teacher, good luck and they're all yours. The phone, these are my tools. Use the web, read the news, watch TV, use the phone to connect to you. We can hear the message as I sing with you.